Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la ami canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokus. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. How you can lead being the minority. We can talk about being a woman, we can talk about being a black woman, we can talk about being an Asian woman. A places where you are in minority. That's why I wanted to do this special video because being a black woman, being African, having lived in so many different places up until now, I saw a ton. I saw differences in ways I've been treated and in the bad way, in the wrong ways and at the end of the day, it's all about taking lessons and being a minority here, your voice is not gonna be here the same way and the ways to be heard without having to try to talk louder you're not gonna put somebody else down just for the sake of you feeling better I'm not about it, I'm yourself I'm all about getting to know yourself, your strengths and your uniqueness in order to shine bright like a diamond through the clothes if that's possible I've seen people I've heard sorry. You need to be aware that not everybody is gonna like you. Just the way it is. Life happens. Life happens. Even if you're part of the majority, being a white woman or being a white man, people are still not gonna like you. You need to be aware of that in order for you to act in a way that you're not gonna try to be a place to everybody. It's not gonna happen. The kind of fight that you gonna lose from the get-go. Some people have that issue and so much more open to other people or different people so if you're black and you're being treated in such a way by a certain person just know and be aware that some people are not gonna like you and i'm gonna tell you a story when i used to live in ottawa my first year being in ottawa actually in on the campus because you know first year my parents were worried and they don't live here they live in Cameron so they were worried of about me living in an apartment by myself not knowing the area that much not knowing the city that much not knowing the country it was more safe for me to stay on the campus and live on the campus at least for the first year uh, guys and girls and most of them were Canadian and I really got along with most of them to be honest so nice and they were so funny and I was really really shy and at that point yes I could speak English because I I learned how to speak English back home because Cameron is bilingual as well like Canada you need to learn both languages but you don't have to speak English that much in Cameron because majority speak French coming here I had to speak English because I lived in Ontario right it was reserved so I didn't want to speak English that much and everybody liked me and I love everybody and it was that one girl, one girl, one single girl. That for some reason, I had never talked to her before. We had never, never met before, to be honest. Girl didn't want to speak a word to me, like at all. And out of being polite, actually, I would say, good morning, how are you? I couldn't even do that. I did that once to her. She didn't respond at all. She was Canadian, she was white, so I kind of assumed that girl didn't like me. I was like, either maybe I did something and she didn't like it, or maybe she really doesn't like me because of certain reason, because I'm shorter, because I don't know. It was so many things that was going on in my mind, but all I'd have to tell you that at the end of the day, I still got to literally spend a wonderful time on the campus with other people that actually got to know me better, be much more open. If you want to be a leader one day, you can please to everybody. Some people are not gonna like you, some people will like you, and they're gonna be the ones to actually bring a lot more good energy to your life. Met again one of the guys from the floor we were living in, and it was like, my God, your channel, your English got so much better. Oh my God, I was so happy to see him again. It was like years after five six years after the second thing here is to communicate sadly enough stereotypes they do exist they die hard and they do exist even in cameron we have many tribes we have many ethnicities and even between us we have stereotypes against each other in the same country we have over 260 tribes we have the B culture the Cameronian culture and then we have the tribal culture there are two levels to it the tribal culture the Cameronian culture the African culture the European culture and then the American culture 
just imagine just imagine and then the Asian culture because I'm obsessed with Asia with Japan and South Korea for all of my life all of those languages all of those cultures imagine me having all of that on top of my head so when you get to a place where people have stereotypes against you your endless cities your country the continent because Africa is known to be poor or I don't know oh my god we have so many pictures about Africa I'm like I'm always laughing because I'm like Oof, if you were to come in Cameroon you would be madly surprised <laughs> because while well, the food is something to appreciate a lot I'm losing myself here but what I wanted to say here <laughs> You're gonna have people having stereotypes against you because it's normal but you need to be able to communicate what your background is how it is living back in Cameroon how it is to live through different cultures how it is to live in Europe how it is to live here when it comes at you and asking you those questions and really out of curiosity and if you're the person being in front of him at that moment I don't see a reason why you can't kind of educate him if it doesn't take you the whole day to do it do it my best answer for people that actually just can't get it google it you have internet for that not even in a midway because you're gonna say whatever you need to say i was able to have so much more and so many informations already even before leaving cameron so i just don't like wasting my time having to have the debates that just doesn't go anywhere so for me it's a straightforward asking me a question you want to know something i'm gonna tell you the best i know about the subject and if i don't i'm gonna suggest you to google it simple you want to be the best version the person can see from your culture right so for me it's just a duty and even better than that focus on the common bonds you have with people or colleagues that asking you that different cultures you still gonna have common grounds when it comes to asian culture and african culture we have a lot of things in common respecting the elders is something that is so much more important in both cultures having families being that focused point is so important European culture is the same thing North America is a little bit different think about those common grounds think about those common points because that's where you're gonna get and feel that belonging type of feeling you're different yes but you still have common grounds think about it talk about it deal with discrimination but avoiding being easily offended and it's hard I've had that talks with so many people now of the way I've been raised I really don't get easily offended by the type of discrimination. I've seen many different types of people treating me, many different types of way, even in camera. It's hard for me to get me to that angry level. It's really hard because I'm gonna laugh at you and you're gonna feel even more stupid. So you need to take a step back. You need to detach yourself from whatever the people are gonna say about black people in general. You can react, you can answer, but the more respectful you're gonna be still, the more stupid you're gonna feel. And you're gonna have that kind of mean person trying to attack you based on some stereotypes, trying to discriminate you based on a certain stereotype. Life happens, like I said, but if you get to react the way, in an angry way, that's why they expect. They already know that. So for you, to react that way that's just perfect for them then they're gonna use it to actually amplify the stereotype they already had about let me tell you another story well i took that cab and i saw you talking to the guy because he was asking me the questions like where are you from and stuff like that and i talked about him i was like oh you know i'm from cameron africa because i never somebody asked me where do you come from i'm like i'm from cameron central africa i always always do my best to be specific because oof lord you're gonna have to hear a ton of that and that's where that's an example of it and that's why the answer it was like oh my god africa is such a nice country this is one of the country that I've always dreamed of visiting. The quiet me <laughs> really went and said, you know, Africa is not a country actually, it's a continent. 
Cameron is a country. That's why I'm coming from, actually. And I really said it in a really quiet way. I'm not even gonna try to scream at you because at the end of the day, it's not gonna change anything about something that you didn't know before. If he really, really doesn't know it, educate them. If he wants to be mean to you, move on. He really did say it out of not knowing better. To use and leverage your uniqueness and your cultural difference. Building a business could make such a difference. Instead of copy paste, now I'm like trying to really dive deep into what makes me me. What makes me be Leticia? What makes me be the person I am? Being an African black woman or what not? In terms of my background, in terms of whatever I've already seen, this is your way of standing out. And nowadays more than ever. Being 2020, it's just gonna get even more important, crucial for you to stand out. Standing out means knowing yourself. If you have that different background, cultural background, this could be your key for a lot of things. Everybody can do a lot of things, but not everybody can do that like you because of whatever you already seen or whatever you already saw in your life before. And that's what I call the advantage. The big advantage is gonna be that for you. My advantage, my big advantage I would say is going through so many cultures, it's hard for me to judge anybody. I'm gonna listen to you. I'm not gonna try to put my judgment on whatever you're gonna say, whatever you're gonna wear. The same thing works with my personal style and other people's personal style or other people's style in general. Where you're gonna wear stuff comes from your experience, your life, your cultural background, your background in general, your current moments, your current mood even. All of that is a part of being you. And I've seen way too many things in my life Cameron, friends here, that for me, when you look different, actually I love it even more. But inclusivity, and really not about exclusivity. I believe in being able to build up a society where you're gonna have differences, yes, but people can be open and tolerant about that because I wouldn't want that for my life so the more different you're gonna look to me the better it's gonna be for me because I'll be like <laughs> I see you I see you and people are gonna judge you sadly enough being different not being different being short being tall being big being black being white being Indian being Asian all of that is still gonna judge you you can't please everybody use that uniqueness what makes you be you long hair curly hair green eyes a great sense of humor being sarcastic loving dancing loving hello kitty that is a part of you use it to be a leader it's not such thing as being a leader as being like all suited or just all suited up it doesn't exist anymore if you're creative like me it doesn't exist anymore display the confidence and make yourself being heard have a voice have an opinion even if it's an unpopular opinion say it out loud speak up that's your opinion it does matter because it's your opinion you're gonna feel like your voice is not gonna be heard unfortunately enough the society is gonna make you feel that way but whatever your voice is gonna tell you inside of that head forget them thank them a lot and a tone move on and speak up but be okay and be great at listening to because it's all good to speak up it's all good to say whatever you think it's all good to have your own opinion other people's opinion they do matter as well it's all good to be tolerant about other people's opinions if they are different from yours it's all good. I took the habit of going to lunch with some of my colleagues and usually we're gonna have deep talks. It could be about the politics, it could be about the religion. I'm not gonna decide to talk about them if I have people who don't feel good talking about it. I'm not gonna come and be like, no, you know what, we're still gonna talk about it because I know what I think about it and this is my opinion and I think we should all talk about it. No, this has to be polite because this is where you show your own respect in differences. When you listen, you tend to analyze, you tend to observe and then you tend to see and speak up when needed and then just when you need to see important stuff understand that not because you think a certain way other people have to think that way not everybody is like you so you need to be able to be open-minded not about you it's about anybody else as well you the leader to develop a sense of humor oh 
I'm great at being sarcastic when I have stupid people in front of me. It's being humorous, having that sense of humor is gonna help you to reduce the hostility, relieve the tension, even communicate difficult messages, strict and hard and rough. Sometimes it just rubs people the wrong way. Again, if you don't have the sense of humor in general, it could be harder. And if you take everything personal from the get-go, being a leader, you're gonna have it hard. People are gonna judge you, say so many things about you, and use your own weaknesses to attack you. If I were to be angry about every person saying something weird about Africa and Cameron and black people and African people and whatnot, oof, oof. You need to be able to deflect that criticism and laugh about it because you know it's not true. At the same time, we need to be realistic about whatever happens wherever we're coming from. We have the bad, but we have the good. Try to just condition yourself. Use the humor. Do it a lot of times. Like the more you're gonna do it, the more it's gonna get natural. And you're gonna see reactions. You're gonna laugh hard at that. Angry for me is like getting the bad energy, attracting the bad thing in my life, and I don't need that in my life right now. You have way worse situations where you can cry on or where you can really be angry at. So these are not gonna be your battles. These are other people's battles, not yours. So don't be the yes woman. Being a minority, being a black woman, we feel like we need to do a lot more to prove our values. Sadly, again here, you're gonna find yourself accepting everything. Accepting all type of projects, even if you're not feeling it. Accepting all type of relationships. Don't settle down. I don't. Again, it takes a process because there's a brainwashing behind it. Accept the product that you feel you're capable of doing. You feel like your value is being valued. <laughs> stick to it. Imagine yourself building a business in somewhere where you're probably one of the only ones. It's hard, 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 hard. Don't accept everything. I'm all about using the soft power or trying to compare myself to men. For me, personally, it's not even a battle that I'm choosing to have. I want to be the best version of myself. I would never be like men. Logically, we are different. Mentally, we're different, no matter what people are gonna say about it. For you to be that woman is for you to stand up to your own truth, which is you, which is a uniqueness. Think about not being that yes woman. Just stay away from that if you can. I hope it was helpful. Let me know where you're coming from. I want to know more of you. That was really a special video for me. It's the first time that I got so real that I shared to make people understand where I'm coming from, where people like me are coming from, where people that are even different from me are coming from as well. Help you if that can make you be a little bit more open-minded, a lot more tolerant and loving and enjoying differences. All the best. If you have anything you want to share with me, let me know in the comment section down below. Yep. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram because on there you're gonna have a ton of confidence type of motivation code because yes, being a personal psych coach is all about really building up that confidence wherever you're coming from and even more so if you're a minority person just like me. Okay, I'm gonna see you on my next video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to know more and if you enjoy it. And uh, le mot de fin, comme je l'ai dit toujours, smile because it's free and contagious. Bye.